The Montessori Model United Nations program is dedicated to Maria Montessori, an Italian physician, educator and humanitarian, whose educational dream was to free every child's potential to transform them into the world. According to the founder, if salvation were to come, they can only come from the children, for the children are the makers of men. Her vision for education was that it was a means for peace, that if we truly educated children to be fulfilled as human beings and to understand their calling in life, we could have peace on earth. Overall, about 1,000 student delegates from nine countries debated in a mock voting session on the various topics of the 13 UN committees at the United Nations General Assembly Hall, the first time since the first academic simulation took place in 2007. We're going to be conducting voting procedure of resolutions at the Great Hall of the General Assembly. We now have the powerful tool of the voting board. This year, the organizers of the Montessori Model United Nations included as part of the 13 committees to deliberate the African Union, which is one of the most important United Nations committees dedicated to tackling the challenges on the African continent. Addressing conflict minerals in Africa will improve life in Africa in more ways than one. We all worked very hard to collaborate, so please vote yes. The student delegates discussed, passed and denied draft resolutions on real challenging issues confronting the world. The law of the sea is great, but has led the, a lot of countries to disputes such as China and Japan. So our main idea is when these borders overlap from the 200 nautical miles, the border that is one of the countries that is not in the overlapped area is theirs. Same with the other country. Then the overlapped area is split 50-50. Both countries put up the money to set the oil rigs. Organizers were excited by the young delegates' aspirations to solve the world's problems, even within such a short period of time. It was absolutely incredible. I, the faces on the parents, when the students were, were talking, they had tears in their eyes because they would say, I cannot believe that my, my child is so vocal and so deep in thought about the world's issues. Uh, it was incredibly moving. It was just a fabulous, fabulous experience. They expressed optimism that future conferences Arab will Republic include student Egypt, delegates from a lot Republic more diverse Germany. countries. That is our dream, to see every country represented a children's UN. Some real world leaders who seats the young delegates are occupying shared various inspiring topic. thoughts with them. This opportunity is an excellent one, not only to understand how the United Nations works, but also to be able to learn something about the countries that you represent. Our generation have to teach you and you have to take care of the next generation following you. It is commendable that the Montessori School UN model continues its educational mission to create defenses of peace in the minds of young generation because it has been through education that our civilization has been nurtured and has flourished. Education cultivate peace. The three-hour assembly filled with voting sessions and speeches from ambassadors and other community leaders culminated with a message of peace with the debut of a music video titled We Are The World, produced by Ghana's Metro TV CEO Talal Fatal, a perfect ending for an inspiring working conference at the General Assembly with future world leaders. So as these smart and brilliant young people take the seats of the real world leaders, their goal is simple. They only have one goal, to solve the world's problems and make it a better place to live in. For South South News, I'm Samuel Ajiman reporting.